Hello and welcome back to Fallout 4. In the previous episode we started uh, Far Harbor DOC. We traveled first to the Nakana residence in the Commonwealth, then we took a boat here to the Far Harbor. Uh, we helped people protect themselves from uh, some creatures of the deep. And now we uh, explore the neighborhood. Mainlander, today's your lucky day. How so? Three beer for you. Ha ha! What's the catch? Not a catch to be found. A full bar ain't no use to a corpse. So, drink up! You stay here over long and the fog will claim you. Might as well meet her with a belly full of fire, eh? What's so special about the fog on the island? Can't you feel it? Even here, as safe as anyone can be on this damned island. It's alive. You walk inland and it'll blanket you up in no time. Geiger don't get you. The madness will. The island will claim us all in the end. I think you're a little bit... The fog mad. drive you crazy? Yes. It's not natural. The trappers you find inland, some were always murderous louts. But many just got lost in the fog for too long. And the mine go. If you have any sense, return where you came from, and don't look back. If it's so dangerous, why do you stay? This is our home. If you call yourself a proper man or woman, you don't give up on that. Besides, we all gotta die. Might as well do it with your long knife deep in the belly of the beast that wronged you. Ha! Not interested. More for the rest of us. If you don't like the service, there's the door. <clears throat> you want a drink? Not interested. Well, if you change your mind. So what do we have there? Everyone! Everyone! We're trying to have a conversation here. Shut your mouths! Open your damned ears! So the fogs are coming for us all. I can't see any better way of greeting it than to have another round. On the house! Yeah! Woo! Time to party! Here's some mitts! This is a very weird part and... Uh, I can tell you that. Fortify your gut against the fog. Fine, but cats do not belong on top of chairs, tables, any place a paying customer would sit, period. From the Mitch. With whiskey! Haha! <laughs> okay. We're the only old long fellow. Oh, and that's a cat. Ah, drown your work. Nice. Islanders Almanac. You've unlocked point of interest map markers across the island. Sightseer's guide. Cliff's Edge Hotel. Eden Meadows Cinemas. Oceanarium, Echo Lake Lumber and uh, Rayburn Point, uh, Brooks Head Lighthouse, Cranberry Island Bog, and Southwest Harbor, oh. Old Pond House, and MS Azalea. Alrighty. One with fists, wars. <laughs> With wits. 
Captain Avery said you can get me to Acadia. Heard there was a scuffle out there. You get your hands dirty? <laughs> I'm done leading people to their deaths in the fog. Last fella couldn't keep up. Didn't last five minutes. Some parents are worried about their runaway daughter. She went to Acadia, and I need to find her. If someone's headed for Acadia, there's always a story. Yours worth dying over, huh? The runaway's name is Kasumi. You, uh, know about her? Sounds like Cap Mabry's been running her mouth again. She should know better than to stick her nose where it's not wanted. Maybe I heard of her, maybe not. This girl's all her family has. <laughs> You'd have to be a real wretch not to give a damn. Bah. This goes against all reason. But I can get you to Arcadia. But you've got to listen to me. Go where I say, when I say it. Still won't be easy. You stock up on your necessities, Rad X and the like. And then the real work can begin. Sure. Should I make any other preparations? Ammo, stim packs, maybe a rocket or three. Worse than my lurks out there. Let's go, cool. Longfellow. Follow me then. Katie is above the fog line on the mountain. It's a bit of a hike. You might want to take this for the road. Face foul of sin. But it'll help. We need to move through the main track. Old My Lark Turkey. Poison resist. Perception. Huh. Mountain trail is where we're at. The fog ain't like nothing you've seen in the Commonwealth. Mainlanders think a dose of Radaway is all you need. <laughs> Tracks, mm, fresh ones. Trappers ahead. When the bullets start flying, find cover. Keep your head down if you want to live. There is fresh lobster open. Come on, surely we can approach him. to take care of a lot of them. Might just make a proper far harborman out of you. <laughs> See, the fog can do a number on you. Get you all turned around. Does something to your brain. Trappers were mean to begin with.
Where is it that we are heading? We might have some cannonballs here, you know? Yeah, we've been in the middle of something with the uh, long fellow, right? Acadia National Park. Okay, that checks out. Why, since uh, choose their place uh, above the fog? Crawler, they usually stick to the deep fog. Best we steer clear, but you never know. When I was a young lad, no higher than your knee, whole island was covered in fog. The fog eventually rolled back. People resettled. But they got comfortable, started taking things for granted. Folk got short memories. All this has happened before. We ain't alone here. There's something out there. We don't need any blood samples of Coopers. Okay, I guess. Gulper's got a fondness for fresh water. A small gulper, like the ones in these parts, is a fair challenge. Now the big one. Good thing we don't see too many of them. So the radiation is not that significant here, but it's almost everywhere. So 
So yeah, occasional battles with uh, radioactive waste. Sure, why not? And give you hot pockets. Stringing one more soul to the damnation, old man. Well, what have we here? Another rad worshiping lunatic. That's what. Your barbs do not harm me. I am shielded by my faith. How about bullets? Faith shield you against those too? Who's she? One of them children of Adam preachers. Started off as pests. Now they're more like a menace. Do not sully this one with your blasphemy, old man. You. I suggest you go no further. Acadia is a nest of snakes. Beasts that subvert the will of Adam. What's Acadia done to make you distrust them? They supply Far Harbor with the means to turn back Adam's holy fog. You'd do well to avoid such creatures, and instead, seek the only true master of this land. And that is? Yeah, whatever you say. Watch yourself, outsider. You walk through Adam's kingdom now. If you're done wasting time with a fanatic, let's move on. Sure. Up ahead, the air is clean. No fog. Acadia is not too far now. Katie has already been watching us for a good spell. If you want to talk with them, just go inside. They'll be waiting for you. You need my help again. You come see me. Got a cabin just outside of Far Harbor. Good place to tool up your gear, get some rest, or get stinking drunk. <laughs> just make sure if you're bringing a bottle of something strong, there's enough to share. Leaving already? Don't you want to see what happens next? You saying you want me to stick around and watch your back? I can handle things from here. Good luck in there. And I'm serious about the offer. You ever want to hunt the forests and waters of the island together? I could think of worse things to do. If you say so. Fair city. And the girls are so pretty. Can we now take another blacksmith? Yes, that means that when we encounter the weapons workbench we should be able to... Now that I think of it, unless I uh, took... Uh, unless I placed all my junk, and I did as a matter of fact. I took all my junk and I moved it, I left it at home plate. Oh, that's unfortunate, eh? I might need to hunt adhesive and steel then. Uh, that was not good. first climbed this mountain above the fog, I thought to myself, now here is a metaphor worth taking in. You've entered a place of clarity, understanding, peace. While you're here in Acadia, Synthkind welcomes you as long as you welcome us. You look old. What are you? I told you. 
I'm the old synth on the mountain. <laughs> I know the plastic skin and tubes out the back can be unsettling, but I want to ask you to look past that. Tell me why you're here, and I'll try to help you. I came here looking for Kasumi Nakano. Really? I'm impressed. Few would brave the kind of journey you've had for the sake of someone else. Kasumi is here. She's safe and unharmed, and you're free to see her if you'd like. Before you do, though, tell me. Do you think Kasumi is a synth? I'm not no answering clue. any more questions until you play straight with us. Just who the hell are you, really? There's only one synth with that kind of face and a mind of his own. And I only see him when I look in a mirror. Nick? It... It can't be you. Don't give me that. What are you trying to pull? I've never seen you before in my life. Please. If you're willing to give me a chance, I can explain. Is this a joke? Do you really know Nick? Let me tell you what I know, and you can judge for yourself. We were prototypes, Nick. The first synths capable of independent thinking and judgment. Keep talking. One of the Institute's experiments had to do with how our brains could process personality. If we could handle individualized feelings and behaviors, I was allowed to develop mine based on experience. But with you, they wanted to try transferring an entire personality into you. It took several attempts before the personality imprint worked. I saw you wake up not knowing who or what you were so many times. I couldn't let them do it to you anymore. We were the only two prototypes they made. I literally saw myself in you. You were my brother, Nick. I helped you escape the Institute. We left together. If I were your brother, I'd remember. That's where you'd be wrong. This happened over a century ago. There's... There's only so much memory that can fit into the prototype brains we have. Huh. I've heard enough. I think you and I need to talk about this. Maybe not now, though. Is it really possible that... You wouldn't remember any of this? You mean between the Institute fail-safes, the beatings I've taken over the years, and plain old age? Or are you buying this whole, there's only so much room of their argument? I don't know. It's not like we've got the instruction manual. Nick. Is he really your brother? If he is, it's news to me. Can sense even be related? Just because we're from the same assembly line, does that make us family? I gotta think about this. We need to get back to why we're here. Kasumi Nakano. Nick, I don't need you to believe me. I'm just glad to see you again. Whenever you're ready, I'll be here. Now, about young Kasumi. It's important that you understand exactly why she's here. I asked you before if you think she's really a sin. If you could indulge me with an answer. I have no clue. Hmm. Who or what she is isn't important. But it is. It's everything. Imagine just looking at your own hands and having to wonder was I born with these, or were they manufactured? None of us take this transition lightly. She's facing the possibility of her entire life being a lie. That someone stripped her very identity from her, and made her into something she isn't. I want you to understand that before you see her. She has a chance here to live as a synth, not hiding, not 
pretending to be something else. One more question, if you'll indulge me. You're here for Kasumi, but I suspect there could be another reason. The Fluke Sensor. Across. Yes. Tell me, are you a synth? Eh? Uh. How would I even know? I'm afraid if you're looking for some biological test we can do, there isn't any. None that aren't fatal. Instead, you have to look for the signs, holes in someone's memory, feelings of unexplained isolation, odd dreams. But ultimately, you have to decide for yourself. What do you believe? Have you ever questioned your humanity? No, not really. I'm a human being, not a synth. Are you sure? I don't mean to question you, but what's the first memory you have? Hmm. I was with my wife. We were getting ready for the day. I had to take care of my boy, Sean. And, uh... <sighs> well, a lot's happened since then. But no memories before then? No childhood? Your first best friend? Your first... kiss? That's usually a sign. Data is easy to migrate, but feelings, that's a hard thing to transfer into another mind. I'm sure I have some Isn't feelings towards Tron. Isn't memory can feel like a whole different reality? People, places, even sounds and colors can change. Or someone else has changed them. I won't lie to you. There will always be other explanations. Trauma, disease, the background radiation. They all take their toll on the mind. But I can promise you that you will be accepted here. Whatever you decide is true for yourself. Thank you. You've given me a lot to think about. I'm glad to hear it. Acadia is open to you. Feel free to walk the grounds. Introduce yourself to my co-founders, Faraday and Chase, and I'm sure you're eager to talk to Kasumi. She's usually working down below. Is there anything else you need from me? Adhesives and steel. That is an interesting thing. I okay. should get going. Of course. Perhaps we're in there a long time. Are you feeling all right? I'm fine. You worry too much. Sometimes I feel like you don't worry enough. You know we blew three more relays this week. I'm coming in. You stay right there. So I made a hey, save. Dima. Acadia is open to you. Did you need anything? I'm just going to tell you right now, Dima. I'm in the Institute. That's quite an admission to make. I'm used to the Institute striking from the shadows. I'll say this to you. I'm not your enemy. I only wish to live here, in peace, with my people. As a scientist, can you not see the value of independent synth life? You have a chance here to witness how wondrous that could be. All you have to do is do nothing. Don't tell your fellow researchers about us. Don't tell them we're here. I don't suppose there's any way you and your people would return to the Institute peacefully. I appreciate the offer. I do, actually. No one wants bloodshed, but we can't go back. And I'm not going to hide. 
If you want us, fine. But we'll fight for this. For Acadia's existence. Consider my offer. Don't say anything. What have you got to lose? Now, did you need anything else? I'm in the Brotherhood of Steel. And we have plenty to say about synths. How dangerous they are. We're not dangerous. Those who've used us tried to replace humans with my kind. They're dangerous. All we want is to live in peace. On our own. See for yourself. Walk through Acadia. Talk to my people. We aren't a threat to anyone. All right. I'll reserve judgment for now. Thank you. Now, was there anything else I can do for you? I'm part of a group that helps since. The railroad. Really? I don't understand why a group dedicated to helping synths would convince them through fear that their only option is to hide. Yes, they volunteer for the memory wipe. Yes, not knowing you're a synth makes it harder for the Institute to find you. But the cost... I know how frightening it is. The risk of capture. But sacrificing what you are? Avoiding the true struggle to be accepted as our own form of life? Hmm. Are you saying you don't want the railroad's help? It's not about that. It's about how you've let fear blind your cause. Hmm. Huh. I hadn't thought about it like that. I'm sorry. So am I. Your heart is in the right place, and it's unfair of me to judge, while I enjoy relative safety from so far away. Was there anything else I can do for you? Who are you? What's your story? I came to this island over a century ago, hiding from my creators, the Institute. But after my escape felt secured, I was left with nothing. No programmed task. No false memories. I spent a year just sitting in a cave. Just sitting. One day, it finally occurred that maybe I could decide for myself what to do. Who I was. I've been doing that ever since. Was there anything else? Tell me more about this place. Acadia. All I want is to bring as many synths here as I can, and give them a chance to know what they really are. To embrace it. Beyond that, we just want to live in peace. I don't have any grand plans for expansion. Just existing as we are now is enough. Was there anything else? So everyone here in Acadia is a synth? Yes. Either they were escapees we managed to find before the Institute could, or they were victims of a mind wipe, and we revealed the truth to them. I was having a hard enough time keeping up with repairs before all this I should nonsense get going. Of course. Politics. It's not them. I'm concerned about you, Dima. You can't solve all the world's problems. Certainly not all at once. So, you've talked to Dima. You know why we're here. I certainly hope that you'll consider helping us. Dima's vision is worth fighting for. So, you're a synth? I am. I hope that's not a problem for you. Dima has worked hard to create a place for us where we can be safe from those who don't accept us. He's put so much of himself into this. All his time and energy devoted to helping others. He never stops to think of himself. Sometimes I worry about... Well... If I wasn't here to make sure his equipment is all functional. And that's not even mentioning maintaining the fog condensers. There's so many things to keep track of. Hm. You do all this work yourself? Mostly, yes. I get help from the others when I can. But no one else really understands Dima the way I do.
Can you tell me about the fog condensers? Oh, those? Dima and I designed them when it became clear the fog was only getting worse. They're effective, but have such a limited range. Dima insisted we provide them to the people of Far Harbor, and I'm so glad we did. Without the condensers, I'm not sure they'd have anywhere left. Dima looks like he's had a lot of work done. Well, that's certainly an understatement. Between the two of us, we've made so many modifications. He was just a prototype, never built for all this. It took a lot to overcome the limitations of the original design and expand his memory. It really is remarkable, isn't it? He's overcome so much. He's become so much more than he once was. And all he thinks of is others. <laughs> if there's anything I can do to help out, just let me know. Well, if you're determined to help, there is something you could do. It's likely somewhat dangerous, though, so I understand if you'd rather not. There's a boat along the coast of the island. It was transporting some hardware we needed. Storage drives. The boat never finished the trip, you see. So the drives are still out there. I could really use them here, for extra parts, if nothing else. My understanding is that the boat wrecked southwest of here. So, does this sound like something you could handle? Sure. What happened to the boat? Why didn't it make it? I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. Trappers, fog crawlers, there's no end to what's out there. And what might still be out there. The point is that we already lost someone once. And I don't want to see that happen again. Huh? So, are you up for it? Sure thing, Faraday. I'll get the drives for you. Thank you. I really do appreciate it. By the Southwest Harbor. Okay, yeah, we can go there. Not a big issue. Hmm. Anything here that has steel? By any chance? Some areas are still locked with key. Building a collection or something? Maybe. Okay, and we come back there, that's probably Kasumi. But let's see what do we have on the other floor here. Mm, so far just some machinery. And this is it. Storage key, okay. Does this go here? Can't pick this. It does not. What do we have in here? Oh, globe. When I'm already done with them, so... I got a pretty good track record cracking those old things. You take a swing at that terminal? Uh, if I can see you, yeah, you probably could do that. Problem is I don't see you. Yes. I 
I believe I should already have more than enough resources, but like you never hey, know, right? There's something you need? I think you can unlock that terminal. Count on it. Yikes. This is some high grade encryption. Not that either. Hmm. There we go. Why, thank you. System status. And this is it. Okay. Never mind then. Yes. So, Kasumi, you right? Track Kasumi here. Your chase. Impressed. Okay. Perhaps not as quietly or efficiently as possible, but thankfully she was never in any real danger. I'm afraid your journey was unnecessary. Why so? I wanted to see for myself that she's safe. You have my word. Acadia is a safe haven for synths. Were it not, I would not have aided anyone in reaching it. Every synth I've tracked down, every synth convinced to come here, has been assured that he or she will come to no harm. My job is to make sure they all remain safe, no matter what. Understand? How do you manage to track down synths and bring them here? I have a network of contacts throughout the area. Some from my time with the Institute, some after. I know the Institute's tactics and use that to my advantage. Have you, you been have a courser? You blessing. So by all means, make yourself comfortable. So what's your story? I used to be a courser, returning yep. synths that had escaped from the Institute. I was tracking a synth and instead found Dima. He convinced me of the truth and the error of my ways. I rejected the Institute, made sure they couldn't track me, and dedicated my life to instead helping synths find freedom. Convincing the courser. Dima's good. Tell me about Acadia. Dima's told you most of what you need to know. It's as safe as we can make it for now. With every new synth we rescue, we're better able to defend ourselves. I'd like to help you all. Is there anything I can do? Actually, as a matter of fact, there is. If you're serious about contributing, well... We've got a situation I need someone to look into. You've had some experience traveling around the island, so you may be decently equipped to handle it. What's the problem? We were expecting a new synth to arrive, and he should have been here by now. There's been no sign of him, and I'm concerned that he might have become lost on the way here. You have any leads on where he might be? You should start by talking to Brooks in Far Harbor. He's one of us, a synth. He's the one who meets the new arrivals and gets them started on the journey here. Of course, he's not likely to tell you anything without proof that you're working for me. If he doesn't cooperate, tell him that his designation is L-792. That should convince him. That's as much help as I can give you for now. Please, hurry. If that synth is out there alone, he won't last long. Uh, Brooks was uh, the guy... Uh, who I cannot do two things at once. Um, the trader, right? Yeah, so long as you're carrying it. Probably just need some workbench somewhere. Acadia may not look like much from the outside, but it's all some of us have got. It certainly wasn't what I was expecting, but it means there's hope, right? Were you disappointed with what you found? I mean, look, I don't want to sound ungrateful. If it weren't for Acadia and for Dima, I'd probably be dead. I guess I was just hoping for more somehow. When I first escaped, I had no idea what to do with myself. I was so lost. So scared. But I heard rumors of Chase, 
in what she was doing, that she was bringing people to a safe place. A place just for us. And now here I am, for all it's worth. So now you're here, what comes next? I don't know. I really don't. I've just got to keep telling myself I'm better off here than dead. And you're in a ray of sunshine, eh? So, I understand you've seen a good bit of our island. What do you think? Quaint, with sort of an old world, burn it to the ground and salt the earth kind of charm. Hmm. Interesting. Of course it was already burned to the ground once. I'm not sure attempting that again would yield much. This island, with all of its danger and beauty, predates you and I. The ecosystem isn't what it once was, but it has adapted, and it will continue to adapt, long after we're gone. What's important, really important in the long run, is understanding it, and then passing that knowledge along to those who will follow us. If you say so. So, what exactly are you doing? As much as I can, given limited resources. Cataloging specimens, observing evolutionary trends, compiling data for future generations. I should note that I'm not fully versed in human anatomy, but I'm your best chance of medical assistance should you require it. Since Dima has approved you, I'm more than willing to offer help. What can you tell me about Acadia? It was originally a place of science. I like that about it. Feels like home in a way. I don't mean the Institute when I say home. More that... Uh, I don't know. That abstract feeling of belonging someplace. We all belong here, in our own way. Dima's to be thanked for that. Sounds like you got the all clear. So what's your story? I came here looking for Kasumi. Oh, isn't that sweet of you? That Kasumi's a good enough kid, I suppose. A little confused, maybe. But then, aren't we all? Not that anyone's asking, but I'll tell you. It all gets easier to deal with when you realize none of it matters. What you are, where you came from, let go of all that, and life gets simple. Oh. Is there anything you care about? I mean, staying alive is preferable to not. Beyond that, what's the point of caring? Anyway, lately I've taken to amusing myself with trading. Don't have much to work with, but I'm always happy to make a good deal. Let me know if you need something. I probably won't have it, but let me know anyway. <laughs> okay. Anything interesting you can tell me about Acadia? God, no. Have you looked around this place? Death by boredom is a legitimate concern. So, come on. You want to do a little trading? I'll take a look, sure. You never know. I might actually have something useful. This guy is amusing, I will tell you that. Keeping an eye out for a second. You gotta run a diagnostic. Whew. Thanks. What'd I miss? Not much. Need something? No, I already got it. Thank you. I've just gotta keep telling myself I'm better off here than dead. Did you need something? Oh, benches. Yeah. Now let's see. Uh, this one. So it's still fast, just as this one, but its damage is uh, almost twice as much, and it still does some bleeding red, right? 
So let's let's pick this guy. Look badass. This is Navina, right? Arcadia may not look like much from the outside, but it's all some of us have got. Um. Oh yeah. Uh. It will make it would make sense to go to the component view and uh, remove those things. Then I would like to go to my junk. And just do it like this. Quite a lot of them are sleeping, which is not ideal. Because uh, you can't talk to sleeping people. Oh, that's another way here, right? Right. Okay, got it. And that should be another way down. Ugh, circuitry is completely fried. Maybe if I reroute the sensors? This place is huge. Okay, at least we have just uh, random no names down here. We don't need to speak to all of them. Hey. I'm all ears. See what you can do. Can do. What on earth? How are they? Oh. Oh. Hmm. Sure, that was gonna do it. Nope. Hmm. See about this. Damn. I'm sorry. Not happening. Let me give it a try. Um yeah, okay. If you have two it might end on ED, it might not man end on ED, so you never know. Which is not cool. No. 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 Yes. You sure you're not part synth? Of course. I guess you wouldn't know, would you? That looks like a national to me. Of course, what would I know, right? Uh, 
Mais il y a. What? Oh, sorry. Just got my head full of what Dima was talking about. That's a bit of a shock. What do you think he is, really? Family? Before I answer, are you okay? I'll keep. Don't worry. I just need to figure this all out. Hmm. I'm not sure if I can trust him. Like, he seems suspiciously good, you know? Hmm. Uh, anybody? Honestly? I don't know what to think, Nick. Yeah. Guess that makes two of us. I spent a long time wondering if the Institute had made any other prototypes. If I was just a failure, or they gave up, or, or just plain got bored. I always thought I was just more of their discarded trash. Never thought of the possibility that someone wanted me out. Helped me escape. There's got to be some kind of proof out there. What really happened between me and Dima? I'd appreciate it if we could keep an eye out. Sure thing. What kind of proof would we be looking for? I don't know. But our best bet is to keep looking into Dima and Acadia. Of course, Nick. We'll find something. Thanks. I know we don't have much to go on. Just keep me in mind if you find something that might give us some answers. Current projects. Fog condensers. Internal motors reworked to correct problems with units becoming off balance. Dimas proposed upgrades for flow intake integrated. Power consumption reduced by 7.2%. Feedback from, ha -ha from far harbor representatives taken into consideration. Dimas' precise were, words were noted and ignored. Dima upgrades. Vacuum tubes resealed after corrosion noted in multiple locations. Adaptive seating motors recalibrated. No additional instances of Dima becoming entangled in memory access apparatus. Power couplings upgraded. Personal note, I'm concerned that we are approaching the limits of what Dima's internal power source can safely accommodate. Too much more of this and he risks, risks overworking himself. So he has some kind of like memory machine, right? Can we look into this? Reconstruction surgery, let's start with six. Subject S2 brought in requesting... Uh, Brought in, requesting facial reconstruction. Surgery completed successfully with minor scarring. Subject satisfied with procedure. Technique improves with every additional attempt. Surgery 9. Subject V5 brought in after incident on island. Severe trauma to head and upper torso. Cognitive functions impaired. All functionality restored. Subject redacted, brought in after incident during trip uh, to Acadia, significant trauma to left arm repaired, full function restored. Left arm, you say? Uh, it could be Nick, it could be somebody else. The storage room is for the general goods store, it's not a free for all. I am not working with much to begin with, so quit taking things. If you need to get in there, come by the store. I'm going to say no, but you can ask all you want. Do you have any secrets in here? Doesn't look like it. So, shall we have a talk with Kasumi? Kasumi Nakano? Sorry, I'm right in the middle of something. What's that you're working on? Just 
trying to cobble some pre-war junk into something usable. Now, do you mind telling me what you're doing here? I'm a detective. I was hired to find you. You... you're a what? You came all this way... for me? You left without telling your folks why. You must have known they'd be worried. Look, my mom and dad... Uh, I mean, those people that were taking care of me, they wouldn't want me back. Not if they knew the truth. What do you mean? I'm not their daughter. I'm a synth. I thought if I just left, it would be easier for them. How would that conversation have gone anyway? I've been lying to you this whole time. Your real daughter is dead and I replaced her? Hmm. Do you have any proof that you're actually a synth? Little things. Dreams of waking up in a lab. Years I can't remember from when I was a kid. <laughs> Not to mention how I never quite fit in back at home. But that happens to every child. Um... Kasumi, I think you're just confused. Everyone has doubts about who they are sometimes. It's part of life. I... I really wish that was true. If I wasn't a synth, things would be so much simpler. Acadia isn't what I thought it was. There's more going on here than just the refuge. But I can't leave until I've gotten to the bottom of it. I've been running long enough. What kind of problem is there in Acadia? It's a long story. I just have to figure out how to... Wait. Wait, you find things. Track down answers. That's what you do, right? That's why you came after me. What if I told you that there's a secret? A big secret here, on this island. Something way more important than just one lost girl. What are you talking about? Where to begin? You saw all those computers that Dimas hooked up to, right? They hold his memories, or offload data from his brain. Or maybe some combination of both? Well, Faraday asked me to help do some repairs on them, and, you know, I got curious. There's like a century's worth of life experiences in there. And that's when I see it. Data models Dima has been making. One was the fog taking over Far Harbor. Another was a nuclear detonation on the island. Plus, death counts. What if Dima is so open and welcoming because he's actually hiding something from us? Hmm. to wipe out the rest of the island. We should get to the bottom of this. If Dima is putting on an act, we need to know. You don't trust Dima? After you came all this way for him? I didn't come to Acadia for him. I came here because this place offered answers. And now that I've found a place I belong, I'd rather not lose it all if Dima is secretly planning to destroy everything. Hmm. I'll help if I can. But that's not much to go on. I know. I've been working on that, but I haven't had much luck. I keep seeing Dima, Faraday, and Chase head into the laboratory at the other end of the hall. Then they come out later looking like they've been arguing. There's actually a storage space right next to there. It'd be a perfect spot to hide and eavesdrop, but it's been locked up. I've also tried breaking into Faraday's terminal, since he and Dima are so close, but the security on it is crazy. Um, yeah. Step aside and let the master hacker show you how it's done. If you're sure, good luck. Once you have something, let me know. From one case to a new one, it's never easy for us, is it? Okay, I am extremely curious. 
Yeah, yeah, I know that I need to wrap an episode. The Valentine Detective Agency signs are an eyesore, but they sure bring in the business. So we've already hacked the terminal. But there was nothing. Things are bad. Far Harbor and the Children of Atom are at the brink of warring with each other, and we are caught in the middle. It's the fog condensers. We just wanted to protect those people from being wiped out by the fog, but the Children of Atom think that's an affront to their god. They wanted the fog to spread all over the island, specifically Far Harbor, and the people of Far Harbor uh, hate them right back. They blame the Children of Atom for spreading the fog, even though that's scientifically unlikely. If Confessor Martin was still in charge of the Children of Atom, we might have better chances. Dima and the old Confessor, confessor go way back. Martin was one that found Dima in the old submarine base, and when Acadia was founded, it was Dima who gifted Martin and his followers with the base to show us their new home. They renamed the base the Nucleus, and we were originally excited to be working together, making the island a safer place for everyone. But now Confessor Martin has disappeared, the High Confessor Tectus has taken charge. He's a dangerous megalomaniac who wants to destroy the harbor at all costs, and he's been threatening us to help him. Worse, Dima left behind his original memory banks in the Nucleus when he left to found Acadia. He blames himself for his lack of judgment, but he is too hard on himself. The Children of Atom were our friends back when Martin was in charge, and those memory banks would have been difficult to transport. Dima had plenty of reason to believe they would be safe uh, locked behind the pre-war defenses that Martin promised to never tamper with. Dima has been on this island more than a century. Anything could be in those memory banks. If the Children of Atom find a way to access all that data, they could find something that would threaten the whole island. We are running out of time. I've convinced Dima that we need to send someone to get his memories back. Interfacing with Dima's offloaded data won't be easy for someone else, so we are working on a computer program together. The program includes a set of instructions that Dima is going to make to help our agent once they're inside the simulation. It will also need the tools to hack through the internal security protocols that the memory banks have. I think we should send Chase, but Dima thinks that's too risky. The children of Atom know her, and if she's spotted, then it's war. We need to send someone else if possible. But who? Okay. Is it still an option to overhear some conversation from the storage room? I don't think so. Um, so we can also talk to Dima about all that. That might be interesting. So, how about we stop an episode around here? I have an urge to just read about this quest and find out if I will uh, spoil anything, if I will talk to Dimo or not. Um, personally, maybe I don't want that, because I cannot completely trust him. And if I talk to him about that, he might uh, know that I'm, I'm looking into this, that I might be suspicious of him or of his plans, or I lack trust or something. He might be alarmed, and uh, that might turn out not cool. I will try not to look at it, probably. Maybe I will just, you know, save load abuse, the usual one. Just see how the conversation goes. Uh, but in any case, for now, Thank you for staying with me, I hope you enjoy my company and my gameplay. And if that's the case, then uh, please leave me a like and uh, subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, let me know down in the comments what I can improve for you. I uh, hope to see you next time.
Have a nice day out there. And bye.